There are important ways that how to inhabit time extends impulses from on the road with St. Augustine. I'm always on the road with St. Augustine. And he's one of those great doctors of the church who was thinking a lot about temporality, about what it means to be creatures of time. Not so much because he's, you know, doing metaphysical reflection on what time is, but he says that we are creatures conditioned by time and that God meets us in that space. There's also a sense in which Augustine is a fundamentally eschatological thinker. In both his confessions and in the city of God, the really animating impulse of the church is to be a people who are on the way with God, who are a pilgrim people journeying with God towards the kingdom that is coming. And in, in so many ways, in How to Inhabit Time, I'm trying to tease out what an Augustinian eschatology feels like, what it would mean for us to live faithfully now, given our orientation to a future for which we are waiting. A Augustine offers, for example, some really timely counsel, I think, for us when he wrote a Roman governor named Boniface and said, we ought not want to live ahead of time with only the saints and righteous. I think a lot of us are tempted to live ahead of time, to make the kingdom come. And there's something about an Augustinian realism that introduces a note of caution into our impulses in that regard.